Have you ever pondered why life on Earth is so diverse? The answer lies in the concept of evolution, a theory that has been centuries in the making. Our journey begins with the ancient Greek philosophers who were among the first to propose that life forms could change over time. But it wasn't until the 19th century that two brilliant minds, Charles Darwin and Alfred Russell Wallace, independently converged on a groundbreaking idea. They proposed that all species of life have descended over time from common ancestors, a process driven by natural selection. In 1859, Darwin solidified this concept with his seminal work on the origin of species. This book, which detailed his observations and theories, shook the scientific world. It provided a comprehensive explanation for the complex tapestry of life on Earth and the mechanisms that weave it. And thus, the theory of evolution, as we know it today, was born. But what exactly is this theory of evolution? Well, at its core, evolution is about change over time. Life on Earth has been changing and diversifying for over three and a half billion years. Now, there are three key principles that underpin this theory. Variation, inheritance and high rate of population growth. Variation implies that no two individuals in a species are exactly alike. They each have distinct traits. Inheritance, on the other hand, means that these traits can be passed down from parent to offspring allowing for these variations to persist across generations. The high rate of population growth is where things get interesting. Because resources like food and shelter are limited, not all offspring can survive. Those with advantageous traits, traits that better suit their environment, have a higher chance of survival and reproduction. This, in essence, is natural selection. Natural selection, therefore, is the driving force behind the marvel of evolution. You might be asking, do we have any tangible examples of evolution? Indeed, we do. Take a moment to consider the giraffe, one of nature's most striking illustrations of evolutionary processes at work. This towering creature, with its characteristic long neck, has long been a subject of scientific intrigue. Traditional theories suggested that this lengthy appendage was an adaptation for reaching food in taller trees. However, Recent studies propose a different explanation, sexual selection. In the intricate dance of survival and reproduction, male giraffes with longer necks were more successful in necking battles, a form of combat where two males swing their necks at each other. The winners get the privilege to mate, passing on their long neck genes to the next generation. Over countless generations, this has led to the modern giraffe's extraordinary neck length. The giraffe's long neck is a testament to the power of evolutionary forces. There's more to the story of the giraffe's evolution. The giraffe's neck, while a marvel in its own right, also houses an oddity of nature, the recurrent laryngeal nerve. This nerve, rather than taking the most direct route from the brain to the larynx, instead embarks on a grand detour, descending into the chest before looping back up to the larynx a journey of several meters in a creature whose neck alone can be up to two meters long. This anatomical quirk is what we call a historical contingency in evolution. It's a legacy of our distant fish-like ancestors whose simpler body plan allowed such a nerve root to make sense. But as bodies evolved into more complex forms, this nerve got stuck in traffic, so to speak. Evolution is not always about perfect design. It's also about making do with what's available. The recurrent laryngeal nerve in giraffes is a compelling piece of evidence for the theory of evolution, reminding us that life on Earth is a product of both chance and necessity.